Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. Tonight we will continue our conversation with Prin Panichapak, a deputy leader of the Democrat Party, who is seen as a member of the new force of the country's oldest political party. Prin now leads the party's so-called new economy team. So, what does this young and up-and-coming politician expect to achieve in his new role? So the new economy team will be a, a brain and think tank for the uh, Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. and we offer policies, offer ideas, offer um, views that we heard from the grassroots mm -hmm. and reflect that in the policies for the Democrat Party. We also will help the member of parliament in each location that we have okay. as well as the one where Democrat Party have many offices, local grassroots offices, to help them implement some of the key concerns that various areas have. Sometimes some areas they may think that wow we have a great potential for local tourism mm -hmm. but these opportunities are not being improved upon and Democrat Party with a new economy team have guru expert from the local community-based tourism local alike is a company that couldn't pay some sack come he has this expertise so he will help improve the local community um, travel mm. um, on, on, on various issues that I mentioned, that the grassroots the e-commerce platform and blockchain, we have know-how. So some country, uh, some provinces will lack e-commerce training, e-commerce mm. knowledge. We can go and help them train on that. Some province may lack SME startup, may lack the knowledge on marketing, knowledge on accounting, standards okay. or legal practices. We have expertise in these three areas of digital marketing mm. or marketing, on the accounting standards, sometimes on investment or savings, on the the whole um, legal issues, th then we would apply this knowledge mm. to the local communities to help them. Mm. Um, we would hope that we would also be able to present some ideas and credible policies to various ministries that Democrat Party are mm. at and it's also up to the ministers whether or not they would yeah. take those policy yeah. recommendations forward yeah. to make it and implement it to be a real yeah. reality. It sounds like so very much very practical approach in yeah. addressing this problem, right? So you used to look at uh, the, the country's problem at the macro level, right? As, yeah. an, as a financial economic, advisor, as yeah. an economic expert. Now you're in, in the thick of the Thai politics. So yeah. what, what, how, what do you see the difference between what you used to see from the outside and now your, your yes. insight? Yes. <laughs> so as a businessman, as you know, sometimes when we decide something, we can yeah. thumb the table, let's do it. And decision maker, we right. can do it straight away without too much hierarchy, mm. too much uh, listening or too much doing, listening to too many people. But as a politician, I think, there are various stakeholders that you need to listen to mm. and sometimes the concern, you know, the suggestion, recommendation need to be think through in a very more careful mm. manner mm. because uh, there are sensitive issues yeah. which may stroke uh, various nerves like when we say we want to collect taxes from the <laughs> Facebook line and Google people thought that we would collect from the user, from yeah. the normal layman who use okay. the service no, 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 we're not going to collect from the layman <laughs> or people on the street who use the service we want okay. to collect from the big multinational corporations mm -hmm. like Facebook line and Google, the company themselves who are foreign company yeah. gaining benefit from a Thailand and Thai economy for them to pay their due responsibility of paying taxes as a good <laughs> uh, yeah. business citizen in oh, Thailand yeah. so like things like that sometimes you have to be sensitive to the public moods understanding various wavelengths and understanding of various stakeholders there are more issues that you need to debate it and think things through more carefully okay. before you can push through and implement something yeah. so sometimes it takes more time so you are serious about pushing all these giant social platforms Facebook Google to pay taxes in Thailand? Yes, I think it's, it's fair and I think in fact if you speak to them, I've okay. spoken to some of them before, mm. they are willing to pay tax mm. but they want to be paying on, on a fair basis and with the right legal framework. Mm. You know, they, in fact they have paid taxes in various countries already as well that they operate. So I think the trend in the world is going to the way where country sovereignty, each sovereign will be charging okay. uh, due taxes uh, to those multinational companies. Whether which structure is applicable in different jurisdictions is up to how you look at whether it's a sales tax, whether it's VAT, whether it's corporate tax. There are various modes you can correct, collect mm. tax from yeah. these big giants, uh, big foreign giants, but 
he must collect them. I mean, you know, because the country, Thailand, still yeah, need, yeah. need money to improve our standard of education, of standard of uh, infrastructure, of road, rails, new smart cities, education. Yeah. All they still need uh, money to, to improve. Yeah, yeah. So that's a matter of just coming up with a law which is fair to everyone. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I, I think competition needs to be fair. Yeah. If you allow this big giant foreign firm to compete in Thailand with big Thai companies or local retailers on an unfair basis and they're not okay. paying tax, mm. I think that's unfair. I believe that you had a very com comfortable life in the business world. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't say comfortable, what, 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 but yeah. What, what, what <laughs> changed your different. mind and made you decide to jump into politics? No, very good question. <laughs> I, I, I think that as a businessman, as a people who operate in the private sector, we often okay. criticize um, the works of government, civil servants, okay. politicians, often the works of policemen and soldiers, okay. you know, people who you know, sometimes we thought should do a better job. Mm -hmm. And those critiques sometimes may be unfair because we never uh, put ourselves in their own shoes. Mm -hmm. you know, so my feeling is that if we are going to be able to criticize, why only criticize? You should be able to participate okay. constructively in the system. Sure, you can participate constructively as a businessman as well, but I want to put myself in their shoes and mm -hmm. roll up the sleeve and, okay. and get the hands dirty and do the jobs and, and okay. see, see the obstacles, see where the bottlenecks are, see mm -hmm. where the aspiration, where the drive, where the pain points are. And that way, I think, if we contribute constructively as mm. a good politician, yeah. I hope we will play an important role in moving the country forward on the policy side yeah. of things, on the implementation of those good policies. Mm. I think that a good politician can do. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you. you. And that was uh, Prin Parishapak, a leading member of the new generation of the Democrat Party. And that's it for Thai PBS World tonight. Thank you for watching.